Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where you join me with a really big smile on my face. The sun is shining, the charts have got the volatility and I'm just feeling really happy and positive right now. So I wanna give you a really, really, really good video today. I'm gonna to pack it full of information. I'm gonna pack it full of knowledge and we're gonna be going over a long-term swing trade setup, ladies and gentlemen. So you're gonna absolutely enjoy this one. All that I ask, as always, is that you just pay full attention, yeah? For the full, however long this video is, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you just need to pay full attention, block out the distractions, because with me, you are going to learn. That's what you're here for, you're here to learn, you're here to empower and educate yourself along the journey of your technical analysis career, and there's no better place to do it. So without further said or do, what are we going through today? Are we we're going to be going through this amazing Bitcoin range, which just continues to be a gold mine right now. Actually, no, we're going to be covering an altcoin of my choice, one that I've been following now for several years. The technical analysis on this is just respected, madre mia, perfectly. So, so, so well respected. We are going to be going through this prediction that was made six months in advance, which has now finally come to those buy zones that we were ready and waiting for months in advance. Just wanna emphasize that one more time, months in advance, waiting for over 50% drops in price. Okay, that's what we're gonna be covering today, this accumulation pattern, okay? Like this guy says, this was first highlight. I've actually been looking at this longer than this, but this guy joined in November. First joint chart champions in November. I had the first idea of the possible spring on Tezos. That's what we're covering today, ladies and gentlemen, Tezos. But even if you don't trade Tezos, pay attention to the theory because you can still learn definitely from this video, even if you don't aren't interested in trading this exact asset. But you know, like this guy says, you had to take notes, be patient, six months later, it's hit our buy zone. So let me explain this in detail for you today. And let's go into over into the analysis. So moving over to the Tezos chart, then I'm going to start looking at Tezos um, BTC. And then we're going to end looking at Tezos against USD or USDTT. Okay, USD, <laughs> Tezos against Tether. Okay, but I want to start off here looking against Tezos against Bitcoin, come out here on a larger term time frame, shall we? Okay, and there's one thing that you might be thinking to yourself at the moment, you know, when you've got no technical analysis on your chart, you are trading blind, you have no idea what's the highest probability, you have no idea is price going to go up from here, is it going to go down from here, is it going to go range sideways, you have no idea what the highest probability is. Only with adding on technical analysis, we start to recognize, hey, we don't know with 100% certainty what's going to happen, but we have a pretty good idea. Okay, so let's add on some of our technical analysis here. What we can actually see is we have this accumulation range. Yes, this is accumulation range that I've been marking out once again for months in advance. We have been ready and waiting for this. Yes, this was recognized last year, back in 2021. We've been waiting months for this drop, okay? Over 50% drops in price. And price has finally dropped over 50% to the exact level that we have been ready and waiting for. Just wanna highlight this one here for a second. And that is actually the, um, uh, this, this is a fractal. This is a fractal which showed us the spring and then the test within this overall um, accumulation pattern. You can see here where we have our automatic rallies, our secondary tests coming into our springs. You know, this is following the fractal absolutely perfectly. Again, recognized last year uh, with the spring and the test. Okay, a lot of other people in the team, obviously, I, that was a members live stream where I first highlighted this. A lot of people, of course, managing to be able to get in on this trade with me. But let's just go over a few things so you can educate yourself here. Okay, we obviously have a few different phases within this accumulation phase. Phase A, phase B with our, with, you know, with a, with a fairly large rally off that secondary test. Okay, coming down for the, you know, the start potential of this phase C where we, we had that spring and then we actually had the test. We actually had the test off of that spring. Okay, so there's a few things that you've got to bear in mind when we zoom in here on phase B. And again, if you don't understand the theory that I'm going through here, actually do not worry because I am actually going to be teaching uh, all of this theory over the next few weeks in the contenders live streams. I'm actually going to dedicate the contenders live streams to teaching you the accumulation and distribution patterns. So basically you can able, you're can you going to be able to recognize the best times to buy altcoins and when to remain patient for lower prices. Okay, This is truly going to be an absolutely amazing series and that is going to be happening over the next few weeks in the Contenders series, by the way, uh, just for an FYI. So if you don't understand all the theory at the moment, do not worry. I'm going to give a light overview in this video, not to confuse people too much. But obviously, once you start to recognize these accumulation patterns early on, okay, you can combine them with other theories, such as these fractals that I found. 
it's a case of being remaining patient. Remember, we, we had to wait for a 50% decrease in price to get this spring. Okay, it's a large, large, large drop. And again, that has taken several months. Yeah. So phase B is a time where we have to remain patient, recognizing the, the highest probability is lower. Yes, we can use this as an accumulation range, but you know, why would we be overall leveraging into our trades with no hedges during an accumulation phase? That would be very silly, bad practice as a professional trader. As a professional, we want to protect our capital at all costs. So thus, we've got to be, yes, accumulating the asset, put myself personally, but also simultaneously, while we're expecting those over 50% drops in price, we've got to remain hedged. Again, if you want to learn about how to hedge, okay, Bitcoin, altcoins, any market, Obviously, I teach that within the Contender series as well on the website. But for now, we obviously had to remain patient and we we're waiting for this spring. You can see we're waiting for this spring coming in at 0.00005630. This has been our key level on the chart. Okay, this was our key level, the exact level that we were looking at over six months ago, last year, ladies and gentlemen, last year. That was the exact level that I had marked out as the key level on this Tesla's chart. I want to come down here and show you what happens down on a lower term time frame. Okay, so if we come down here, let's just let's just stay on the four hour because we've got quite a lot of information to go over. And then I want to also cover a Tesla's against um, Tether, remember, against USD. Okay, so we can kind of see what happens here. Obviously, on the larger term time frame, we're making our way down, making our way down, making our way down. And then finally here, as you can see on the four hour chart, we got this final push to the downside, wicking through that level, closing back above. And I know at this point in time, you know, this is kind of where you're starting to get very interested. If, if you're myself, you have the alerts going off. Okay, it's, you know, this is the time to act. This is the time. This is the time we've been ready and waiting for, for for months. Okay, so this is not the time to be scared. This is not the time to be fearful. This is not the time to be, um, you know, following the general news and the general sentiment of the herd who right now are very scared. No, this is the time for action. This is the time you know, we've been pre prepared for this. It's obviously the time to look for the buy opportunities. And you actually do get this really, really nicely. So of course, after that spring, this is a perfect spring, you obviously get a bit of a rally. Okay, you get this 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 rally. Okay. And obviously this the rally actually went on for 19%, by the way, over a few days. So quite a large rise to the upside, 19%. But then this is where we then get this test. Okay, remember the fractal that I just showed you. We were waiting for the spring rally test. Okay, where we test the exact key level. Just look at the precision here. Please look at the precision. Recognizing over a 50% drop in price, bounce, retesting that key level. What happened, ladies and gentlemen? We dropped into the level, we bounced off of it, and we retested to the exact dollar that test. And what did we also have going on here? Of course, it was also that CC zone, by the way. This is on the BTC pair. I'll show you the tether pair in a second. I just wanna, re just wanna show you one thing that I posted in the group, by the way, just so you can be like, wow, yes, Daniel did absolutely cool this one. As soon as we were getting that retest, as soon as we were getting that retest, I posted that into my group on the 19th of May. There is not even a one minute delay on that post. I had the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready and waiting. This is for me buying, I'm, I'm long on this with times 10 leverage. By the way, price is now up over 40%. It's over 40% gain already with no leverage. I'm using times 10 leverage. You can kind of imagine the position size I'm using here. We've made a hell of a lot of money, but that was given into the group on the 19th of May at 10.54 a.m. 10.54, 10.55 a.m. is when we got that absolute perfect retest. That is coming into the CC on the retest of our level. This is maximum, maximum opportunity. Why? Because here we ha now have an invalidation. We have the test that we've been ready and waiting for year in advance, you know, six months in advance. We've got that test. We've got it onto the CC. We've got Bitcoin in a range. This is the maximum financial opportunity. Let me show you what happened here on the Tezos, or, or Tezos against um, Tether, okay? We're gonna pull our Fibonacci from the low of that test, okay? Which was what the weekly, by the way, to pretty much the dollar. Up to the high of that rally. And we're gonna so I'm gonna show you here what has actually happened. The retest there at one dollar sixteen, okay, one dollar six one six to be precise. We can see we absolutely test retest that CC, bam to the dollar. So we're getting the perfect absolute dollar retest. Okay, while well, simultaneously the Bitcoin pair is also retesting the absolute key level that we've had marked on our charts for over six months in advance, while also retesting that CC level. Everything is coming together right now exactly as predicted. It's it's just like, oh, I, I'm pretty happy right now. Not because I've made 
you can imagine, I'll leave that up to your imagination how much millions are made off of this already and it's very early days. But, you know, we were just going into this with so much confidence and so much, the technicals are coming together. Just, I just want to remind you one more time. Imagine you had no technical analysis. Imagine your chart is blank. What are you thinking right now? You're thinking fear. You're thinking lower. You're, you know, you're affected by all the news articles coming out. You know, you're, you're really, really, really fearful and scared. What happens? We had a few levels onto the chart and suddenly it goes from fear, scared, you know, emotions to, hey, we have the most perfect setup that we have been ready and waiting for for months and now it's time to take action. What happens there, ladies and gentlemen? We get that perfect retest off, you know, off of the weekly itself. We can see a 48, basically a 50% rise in price. Come on, 50%, no leverage. But myself, I'm using times 10 leverage on this. I went high leverage because I had extreme confidence in this setup. Extreme confidence in this setup, okay? We've already seen a 50% rise in price. And what are we at now? We're at our first daily level here, coming in at just over $2.10, okay? This is our, you know, this is our first kind of level to be aware of. Of course, if we can clear this, we're gonna be looking back up to around $2.50. Okay, quite a key level. Of course, we can actually be uh, aware of a few, you know, a few levels above that. You know, primarily that CC right there. But you know, the next daily then above us would be this would be the two dollar fifty, where we also have this extreme downtrend uh, trend line as well. So this is like a really, really, really key level on the chart. Okay, but we are at our first level of resistance. So what is something that I personally have done that I would generally recommend to a lot of people? And that is hitting this first take profit. Okay, once we have locked in that first take profit. Okay, it doesn't have to be a large percentage. For me, it's not a large percentage. But what I have now managed to do is move that stop loss up to, you know, actually into profits personally, because I think the invalidation is, is really clear. But now I am guaranteed profits of, of whatever happens next. Okay, whether this is the high, for example, we don't, let's just say we do not clear this daily and it does in the end break down to new lows. Well, the advantage of hitting that take profit one, just a small percentage, but having that stop loss now moved up into profits means we are guaranteed to make money whatever happens next. And you can understand, I hope, as a trader, how that just brings so much calm, calmness. Yeah, you, 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 you are just so totally relaxed at this moment in time. And again, I don't want to emphasize it all stemmed off of the back of having an overall higher term time frame plan. As soon as we get that retest, what would be, you know, as soon as we got that retest, this is the high probability maximum financial opportunity long time. And then once you've got that, yeah, you can, you can kind of reap the profits. You can start to hedge at some of these levels. I'll show you a few of the, um, well, actually, I'm not going to go through all the posts here, but uh, <laughs> I was going to try, try and find the one which this guy, but yeah, there you go. So this guy also took the exact same, uh, exact same trade. He would bought spot himself at the retest of the CC, and for example, he's like hedging himself at this at this daily level. And, you know, that's that's a sensible plan. He's obviously trading his own plan here. And um, but what you know, what's really what was really nice for me was that you know he's obviously come in here, learned you know, took the same long that I took. And then for example, he's like hedging himself here. Of course, a hedge just means if we can clear this level, close the hedge, let, continue to let the longs run. Myself personally, I'm in, I'm in, uh, you know, I'm in a leverage long right now. But of course, this, this, this daily level is really clear, like really clear resistance at the moment. Would I long right now into this daily? No, but that doesn't mean I'm not bullish on the, the asset locally here, okay? But of course, there's times to long. <laughs> yeah, there's times to long, la, 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 la. And then there's times to be cautious, hedge, and not be bullish into resistance, okay? I think that goes without saying, okay? If you're a member of Chart Champions, I really hope that you know that. Um, so this was just, this was a light overview into the, showing you just briefly, the power of technical analysis, the power of having the plans, the power of recognizing accumulation patterns, how we need to remain patient for months in advance. When it comes from being patient, you've got the high probability retests. When you get them, you take the trade, you execute, you know, you, at the end of the day, you're even then making money. You know, you're risking a few percent and, you know, for example, you're, you're now up a, a nearly 50% in a week. Um, you know, it's kind of amazing when you think about that. If you want to learn more, I will say one more time, I am going to be teaching this within the contenders live streams, okay? So from next week, we're gonna be going over the accumulation and then distribution patterns. So you will be able to recognize and draw these out for yourself. So you're not waiting on me to give you an accumulation pattern, but you can recognize the accumulation pattern on any single altcoin in the world, yeah? So if you wanna buy altcoins when they're low, yeah, then this is the, this is the tool that you use. So um, yeah, you can obviously see a lot of people 
very much happy and cannot wait for this one. So um, yeah, I'll be giving you this obviously in the Contenders live streams. If that's of interest to you, that's all over obviously at chartchampions.com where you can get the best you know, basically the best education in the world right now, along with, if you're a champion, some of these, uh, what can we say, pretty um, pretty epic calls there. Uh, so yeah, if that's of interest to you, the, the focus is obviously the education here, please, just education. Um, you know, everything else is just a bonus, do not be expected. But if you want the education, that's a course over at chartchampions.com. More than, more than happy to have you part of the family. If you want to come over and, uh, you know, <laughs> say hello. So uh, yeah, that's going to be me signing out at the end of this video. Uh, I have got a contenders live stream tomorrow where I'm going to continue with the altcoins and accumulation patterns. Uh, so yeah, you can sign up if you want to watch uh, the contenders live stream tomorrow. And if you missed last week's contenders live stream, then you can go back and rewatch that, of course, on the website right now, where you have access to all of the old videos here on the video library. You can see uh, tons and tons and tons of content here. Oh, yeah, George obviously done his daily update this morning as well. So if you missed George's daily update, you can go over and watch that right now as well. And that's me signing out. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've given you a bit of inspiration, showing you what's possible, giving you a glimpse into accumulation patterns there. And um, yeah, if you want to learn more, that's going to be over on the website. So thank you ever so much, everybody. And I will end by saying, uh, of course, none of it at the end of the day is financial advice. It all is that entertainment, educational only. Um, yeah, make sure you fully understand that. And um, have a good day. Cheers and goodbye.